。喂，咁多位大家好，我咧就係嗱嚟緊呢兩段片咧，我哋都會温下有關於碳水化合物呢一個物質嘅。咁啊，碳水化合物喺棵植物啦，喺個動物啦，身體入面啦，究竟有咩嘅角色咧？有咩功能咧？同埋啦，喺各自嘅生物當中，碳水化合物有啲咩嘅新陳代謝咧？咁而家啦，我哋睇一睇幅圖先。每一個六邊形咧，都係一個六 C 嘅糖嚟嘅，所以 X 咧就係單糖啦。Y 咧就係兩粒黐埋一齊，就係雙糖啦。而 Z 咧就好多粒黐埋一齊，咁就係多糖啦。咁各自都有唔同例子嘅。喺棵植物嚟計啦，我哋有 glucose、fructose、葡萄糖、果糖啦。雙糖嘅例子啦，我哋有麥芽糖啦、蔗糖啦。而多糖嘅例子啦，就係澱粉質同埋呢個纖維素啦。咁而家題目咧就問咯，如果呢一隻生物？系植物嘅话，四咁以下边一句陈述系不正確嘅呢？咁题目啦就系考翻我哋以下三个概念嘅。第一啦就是、理解一下碳水化合物喺棵植物嘅功能或者佢哋嘅作用，佢哋嘅角色系如何啦。第二咧就系、是、要我哋区分一下一棵植物佢用个碳水化合物去做储存啦，去做运送啦，去做结构嘅话啦，个形式系如何呢？究竟系用单糖啊？双糖啦，定系多糖去做以上三个功能咧？第三咧就系、是、有关于植物啦，如何去应用呢个碳水化合物，佢哋嘅新陈代谢系如何嘅咧？咁而家啦，我哋就嚟做一击破咯。A 嗰句咧就讲啦 ，X 咧即系单糖啦、葡萄糖啦，佢话系一棵植物攞嚟运送碳水化合物嘅主要模式、哦。嗱，运送嘢食。的確係靠人皮部 follow mass 去運嘅，運嘅咧就係 organic food 有機嘅嘢食，係咪？就只係爭在啦，運緊嘅係咪真係葡萄糖先？我哋發現其實不是喎，佢要運嘅咧其實應該係蔗糖，係一個雙糖嘅形式去運送嘅。咁所以咧 A 咧已經係答案，因為佢係不正確嘅。原來植物運送碳水化合物係運送雙糖。原因好簡單嘅啫，就係、是、能夠運送大量嘅碳水化合物啦。因為一運就運兩個啊嘛，係咪？咁、嗯、雖然我哋已經有答案啦，咁有啲體育精神搞掂埋 B、C、D 佢咯喎。B 呢個就話啦 ，conversion of Z， 即係將個澱粉質就變成 X 啊，例如啦葡萄糖，喺邊度發生㗎？就係、是、一個發緊芽嘅種子嗰度發生嘅。咁呢句係正確嘅，因為當種子發芽嘅時候啦，佢就將本身攞嚟做食物儲存嘅。澱粉質就拆解成 glucose， 就透過 respiration 呼吸作用去做乜鬼嘢？放能量俾棵幼苗去成長啦。所以 B 呢句咧係正確嘅句子嚟嘅。而去到 C 咧，佢就話啦 ，X 咧即係葡萄糖啦，就係、是、去製造細胞壁嘅原材料。咁呢句。都係正確嘅，可能你會話啦，喂唔係喎，兩 s 製造細胞壁嘅呢，唔係纖維素咩？係冇錯，咁但係纖維素係多糖嚟㗎嘛，多糖啦就梗係由單糖去砌砌砌砌砌砌埋而成㗎啦，所以啦，葡萄糖呢，其實係製造纖維素嘅一個前提 precursor， 你達唔到前提唔緊要，起碼識得講咩叫做 basic unit。基本單位係咪？咁所以啦 ，C 呢句句子咧都係正確。跟住去到 D 啦，佢就話咧 ，conversion of X 即係將呢個葡萄糖轉換成為乜嘢？轉換成為澱粉質。其中一個例子啦嚇，就喺邊度發生啊？喺葉綠體嗰度發生嘅。咁呢句説話咧都係正確嘅，因為啦，葉綠體佢做完呢個光合作用，當然啦係會產生葡萄糖啦，係咪？咁製造完葡萄糖啦，過多嘅話呢，又會攞嚟轉化成澱粉質，就做個儲存啦。所以你有印象嘅話呢，喺個葉綠體入面呢，其實都係有呢啲澱粉質嘅火粒喺當中嘅。所以 D 呢，都係正確。咁啊喺棵植物入面啦，我哋有呢個根、茎、葉三部分。化葉呢，就係透過光合作用去製造葡萄糖，係單糖嚟嘅。咁佢亦都可以自己將佢轉化成澱粉質就儲存啦，就係、是、多糖啦，係咪？四而一棵植物其他嘅部分佢都需要糖噶嘛，例如個根部，所以立棵植物咧都會透過人皮部啦去運送碳水化合物，不過個形式咧就係、是、雙糖係蔗糖嚟嘅。咁運到落根部嘅時候啦，就係、是、儲存嘢食啦。咁啊，他日以備不時之需，咁啊以咩形式儲存啦？就係、是、澱粉質啦。咁呢三個模式啦，整佢出嚟。
、運送佢同埋儲存佢。咁呢三個概念咧，大家就快啲揾下書咯噃。Hello student, I'm Mr. Lang. So in these two video, we are going to talk about the carbohydrate metabolism. We are going to do the revision about the carbohydrate. What are the roles of the functions of the carbohydrate in the organisms, including plants and animal? And we shall also talk about the carbohydrate metabolism. So we refer to the diagram. This hexagon is one six carbon sugar, so it is a monosaccharide. And then for Y, it is a double sugar disaccharide. And Z, it is a polysaccharide because it contains a lot of basic unit of the carbohydrates. And the question is, if the organism is a plant, so which the following statement is incorrect? So this question is checking our concept about the role of carbohydrates in the plants, and then differentiating the storage. Transport and structural forms of the carbohydrates in the plant. So the plant should use the monosaccharide, disaccharide, or polysaccharide form for the storage, transport, and the structure. And lastly, analyzing the metabolic pathways in the plant. So let's go through the answer one by one. Option A, X. That means the monosaccharide. It says that is the major form of the carbohydrate transported through the phloem. Surely, the phloem is the way for the transportation of the organic food. But we need to think about is that is the major form glucose actually is not. It should be the sucrose. It's a double sugar. Say for the carbohydrate transport form. Therefore, option A is already the answer, which is the incorrect statement. Say we transport the sucrose in the phloem rather than the glucose. Both we have already know the answer. We still need to go through options B, C, D. Option B, the conversion of Z to X. That means the starch, the polysaccharide, to glucose, the monosaccharide, take place in a germinating seed, which is correct statement. Cause the germinating seed. Break down the starch into glucose for respiration. So this concept is correct. And then for option C, X the glucose can be the raw material for synthesis of the cell wall. So for the cell wall, we can recall that is made up of the cellulose. And for the cellulose, and for the cellulose, which is the polysaccharide, it contains a lot of the monosaccharide, the basic unit. Therefore, glucose serves as the precursor. Therefore, option C also correct, and then option D conversion of X that means the glucose to Z to starch takes place in corpus. That's also true because for the corpus it produces the glucose during photosynthesis, and after that the glucose will be converted into starch for what for storage. So we can still see the starch granule in the corpus. Therefore, in this question, we have the concept just like for the plants, we have the leaf, we have the stem, and then we have the root. So for this three basic part of the plants, for the leaf, they undergo photosynthesis, and then to produce. Glucose, um, and they can also convert the glucose into starch stored in the leaf. If any other parts, they also need the food. For example, the root. So that's why the stem helps us to transport the carbohydrates. So when they transport the carbohydrate, we transport disaccharide, the double sugar. So by photosynthesis, the plants, the leaf, they produce single sugar. And transport double sugar, and for the root for storage, so they store polysaccharide, many sugar. So these three forms of the carbohydrates we need to know about it.